doing guys uh, today uh, this time I'm going to teach you how to mount the ISO file that you have created in the formulation so uh, I have created the ISO for Vista Windows Vista let's see that I usually put the uh, ISO files in slash backup so that it will be easier to find out so there's vista.iso this is what this one is what I'm talking about so now let's say that I want to extract the files of vista.iso uh, normally you can't extract iso file contains of iso files without any applications in Ubuntu but uh, if you can use a command line it's pretty easy it's uh, again a single line command so let's say i want to know what are the contents inside the start of iso so I, I can't mount it directly so let's say I, I go through command line way then i do it by typing mount command mount the special thing is mount in general mount you will do like this so let's say slash backup slash vista.iso the device name media slash pen drive pntriv uh, don't confuse uh, with this part uh, the inside of root it's media and i have created a, a folder named pen drive so that uh, that's where i'm going to mount this vista file but you can do it directly by this method because it's uh, not a device so you put minus O that means option loop that's it hit enter again we need sudo root permission so sudo there we go administrator password and it says warning media pen drive seems to be mounted real so let's see where it is mounted mount and there you go this one so let's bring it that bring that in GUI. So I'm going to home folder and there it is. Like I have the contents. If I hover it, it's slash media slash pen drive. So that's it guys, you can unmount from here. And if you want to unmount, simply type U mount M O U N T and the device name slash media slash pen drive that's where we mounted and that's where we will be unmounting from again again sudo now again if you type mount there's no vista so it's gone so it's pretty simple uh, let me uh, show you the command one more time it's mount minus o that means option loop that means it will create loop back device then because it's not a device actually so your file iso path name and the path name where you want to mount it thank you guys for watching it